Hey everyone, this is Cody Burleson, and today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the user impersonation feature, which was introduced to WebSphere Portal in version 6.15. First, I'm going to log in as the WPS admin user and go to my test page here because I want to show you how I set up this test case. Now, user impersonation is a feature that allows us to log in as another user without knowing that user's password. This, of course, is something you only select users would be given um, the ability to do. Um, but it could be very useful because, as you know, you can secure different portlets, different content, different services away from certain users. You can also personalize the user experience and based on user profile attributes. And, of course, this can make maintaining or managing your portal difficult because you can never really truly know what experience is being delivered to which users. By enabling user impersonation, uh, you can aid this process because we can take on the profile of that user and see how the, what content and services are delivered and what kind of user experience um, that user really gets. Uh, could be good for things like help desk support, for example. So what I have set up here is two portlets on, the, on this test page, and one of them is secured to be visible only to uh, a test user one. The other is secured to be visible only to test user two. Of course, I can see them both now because I'm the WPS admin. Now, inside of each of these content portlets uh, is a menu component, and the menu component is programmed to pull back uh, content that is tagged with the current user's categories. Now, these are, for example, content that the user has subscribed to um, and saved those taxonomy categories to the property extension database or the, the look aside database as it's formerly known. Uh, right now the menus uh, are showing the same items returned because I'm the WPS admin user and since the menus are programmed to match content based on my current user categories well then I'm seeing the same content returned in each menu. Uh, but I want to show you how if I log out and I log in as the test user one. Uh, let me turn that off. Okay. And I go to this page. Test user one has two content items, both of them tagged with Enterprise Lean Sigma. You'll notice that the test user two portlet didn't show up. So that proves that this portlet is only visible to test user one and that test user one has two enterprise lean sigma content items. Now I'm going to log out and show you what we can see as test user two. Okay, now you can see that we're seeing the test user two portlet, but not the test user one portlet. And you can also see that I have two different content items. This user can see compensation and corporate sustainability. So now what we want to do is log out and log back in as the WPS admin user. As you can see, when I go to my impersonation test page, I can see both of the portlets. The menus are pulling back content to me, WPS admin. But I need to know, what does this view look like if I'm test user one. What I can do is go to my impersonation portlet and select a user. I'm going to go with test user one and I'm going to click submit. Now well, before I do that I want to tell you that this is just a, dumb, uh, a very simple test portlet. Um, in 615 a, an impersonation portlet is not available. You can enable the impersonation service but there's no out-of-the-box portlet available. You have to use some sample code that uh, IBM provides and you can write your own portlet. Uh, uh, the, there is an out-of-the-box portlet available in WebSphere Portal 7 and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But right now we're just going to look at the functionality and prove it out. So I'm going to select, I want to impersonate test user 1 and I click submit. Now you can see in the header here that I have become test user 1 instead of, uh, I mean my username is showing here test user one. So now when I go to the impersonation test page that I had set up, 
I expect to see the portlet for test user one, and I expect to see my two Enterprise Lean Sigma content items. Sure enough. So we see that what's happening is, is that the impersonation session is honoring the security, and it's also honoring the menu component profiling from WCM based on my current user categories. So now, to disengage the impersonation system, session, uh, I simply click Log Out. It logs me out of the, the impersonation session, but retains the original session that I had. Uh, so you can see I'm still WPS Admin here. If I go to the impersonation test page, I see the original setup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to engage a session to impersonate test user 2. I click Submit and I go to my page and you can see now I only see the test user 2 portlet so the security is being honored and we can see the two content items which are specifically returned to this user based on uh, personalization or menu component profiling in WCM. So now what I'm going to do is switch over to WebSphere Portal 7 and show you this functionality there. So now here we are in WebSphere Portal 7 and I'm going to show you the, I'm going to log in as the WPS admin user and I'm going to show you that um, when I let me first show you, okay, so here I am logged in as the WPS admin user. If I go to uh, administration, you'll see that I have an impersonate link up here in the header of the, the portal admin console. So after you enable impersonation for WebSphere Portal 7, you get this link here. And if I click on it, I get to the user impersonation portlet. This is uh, an out-of-the-box portlet available for WebSphere Portal 7, and it's much nicer than the, the sample that I, 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 ha I cobbled together for 615 um, because of course in a production scenario you know you're gonna have tons of users uh, in your LDAP and you need to be able to to search on those users so I'm gonna search for a test user and you can see I have two test users in the system I'm going to choose which one I want to impersonate and then I click the impersonate button now you can see up in the header that I've become test user 1 if I log out, I'm back to WPS Admin. So now I'm going to engage another impersonation session. This time, I'll search for, I'll go into test user 2, and I'll click impersonate. And as you can see, I've become the test user 2, and when I log out, I return to WPS Admin. So, this concludes my really quick demo of user impersonation in WebSphere Portal. If you want to read more about how to enable user impersonation and how to um, give certain users the ability to impersonate other users, you can check the WebSphere Portal documentation or you can check my blog at CodyBurleson.com.